So we've talked about protons, neutrons, electrons. We know that the protons and the electrons always have to be the same because atoms are overall electronically neutral. They have to have the same number of positives as I do negatives. And we also kind of know that the number of neutrons can be determined using the information on the periodic table that we can find the atomic mass, so this mass number, and that's a combination of the protons and neutrons. The protons are determined by the atomic number, and so if I just subtract the mass minus the atomic number, which is the protons, I'm left with the neutrons. And we looked at a couple examples where the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons were all the same, but then we also looked at a few examples of times where maybe the number of neutrons is not the same, and, and that was okay. For example, I think um, we were looking at these the other day that sometimes, like in, in sulfur, I mean, the protons and electrons have to be the same, but in this case, we also had 16 neutrons, totally fine. But there were other situations where we had way different numbers of neutrons versus protons and electrons, and that was fine too. Uh, now we're going to focus on the neutrons a little bit more in something called an isotope. So isotopes are atoms of the same element, but they carry different numbers of neutrons. And because the neutron just adds mass and stability, the number of neutrons really then affects the mass of the atom. And so uh, you think about it like this, I, like dogs, puppies, kitties, whatever you're into. I, they're all dogs, but dogs come in different shapes and sizes, and it's kind of similar to atoms. That we could have three atoms of oxygen, and they're all oxygen because it's the atomic number that identifies the element. For example, if I go in like this, and I highlight all of these atoms of oxygen, have eight protons. Eight protons. That's the atomic number. That's what identifies these atoms as oxygen. Now, because they're also neutral atoms, if they have eight positive protons, there's also eight negative electrons. They didn't put a little negative in, in that green circle. That kind of bugs me. I'm going to do that. That's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to put like a tiny little negative, just so I remember that. Whoop. 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 There, the positives and negatives have to be the same. So they're showing a little positive by the proton. I want a little negative by the electron as well. There, I've got it. Okay, so they're all neutral. They're all oxygen. It's the atomic number. that identifies the element. There's no other element with eight protons besides oxygen, which then, if it's neutral, also means there's eight electrons. But you kind of see in the middle that there are different numbers of neutrons. What? Okay, so it's, it's in the middle here. Uh, there's eight neutrons, there's nine neutrons, there's 10 neutrons. What's going on? That's okay. These are called isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of oxygen identified by the fact that they all have eight protons, but they just have different numbers of neutrons. And again, the role of a neutron is to add mass and stability. So who really cares? It's totally fine. I, all I do is change the mass. And so when you look at this question 13, communicate information, how does the overall charge of oxygen 16 compared to the overall charge of oxygen 17 and oxygen 18. Okay, so first we have to remember that this is just one way of showing a particular isotope. This number at the end, the 16, the 17, the 18, that's the mass. Atomic mass. But if I know the mass, and I know that it's oxygen, and I can look at my periodic table and find that oxygen has an atomic number of eight, which means eight protons. 
then as long as I know the mass, I can figure out the number of neutrons. So for example, if it's oxygen 16 and oxygen has eight protons, then I know that there were also eight neutrons. It's these guys. It's the protons plus the neutrons that add up to the mass. So oxygen 17 still has eight protons, but there's an extra neutron. So the mass is 17. But look at these three diagrams. The question here is asking about the overall charge on the atom. Is there a difference? Hopefully you're saying no. How does the overall charge compare between these three isotopes? The charge is the same. Yay! When we explain our answer, it's just that neutrons are neutral. And so even though I have a couple extra neutrons, it doesn't change the balance between the positive protons and the negative electrons. So we still have the same number of positive protons and negative electrons. 